She is at minus 170. And Cagliari plus 130. We are underway. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. That was interesting in talking to Itzel Pat. She said she learned from that fight with Macy Barber. She needed to work on the ground game, and, but she also needed to be more composed. People's arms, yeah. and she just sprained it. Thank goodness. Good to be young. Fighters clinch up now. Esquivel. Caliari with a body lock. She's very strong, obviously. Somebody showed me uh, some of the strength and conditioning that Caliari was doing. She was doing a lot of explosive Olympic lifts. Body champion at age 15. Obviously stopped doing karate, probably. Write it down, people. Itzel, good combo again. Oh, boy. What a toss. That showed the strength. She ate a couple elbows there. Now she's doing it. Kelly escapes. Itzel lighten her up when she gets a chance. Oh, just not enough positioning and power there. Caliari muscled through that. Now Caliari with 30 seconds to go is landing some nasty elbows. Nice job. Oh, blasted. Caliari blasted. Esquivel is right. She wasn't all the way up to her feet, was off balance. I wouldn't consider that a knockdown. This is still a very close fight, obviously, judging by Caliari's face. Oh, nice heel Ari kick into the head. Slips through Taking after that eye. Back and forth, cats and dog kind of fight right here. Itzel getting off on her, and then the head clash. And then watch the uh, strength here of Cagliari. Here, she's just forcing that knee through, wedging it through. And then the leg lock attempt by Itzel. She ends up going to a knee bar, stretching it, wasn't able to finish, and there's Kaliari blasting Itzel as she was getting up. Close. Round two. I think you do it more than anyone in the MMA world, and I appreciate that, because it should be used more often. You think? Absolutely. Okay, well, I'm giving you props, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me that look. You know he's got that look, people. All right, round number two. Kaliari and Esquivel putting on a show here so far in Houston. We'll see if Esquivel turns it up a little bit. She was very adamant about her staying composed and being patient. Hoping to wear Cagliari down. Look at the lead leg of Cagliari, though. They're inside of it, getting red. Itzel's picking at it. Big overhand right just misses from Esquivel. Oh, nice. Right, comes in. Sidekick to a spinning back fist by Itzel. Two very talented fighters. <laughs> Caliari just throwing as she's coming in. Punches Esquivel. and bunches. Iskabel's catching her. But the thing is, is Caliari has some knockouts, and at 115 pounds for the ladies, that's kind of rare, to be honest with you. They're obviously very small people, and uh, they have that kind of power to knock people out. So, Itzel Iskabel is going to have to be a little careful. And watch those knees, too. She's front headlocking her down into that position, just powering her down there to the knees. Showing how strong she really is. And it's crazy to see this power from Cagliari. Well, in Itzel In meetings get, yesterday, she looked tiny. Win, lose, or draw, Itzel is, is going to come out of this fight and say, okay, I need to get stronger, too. She's got great technique, but I'm going to have to get stronger. Both wins for Esquivel coming by way of armbar. Oh, Caliari. Landed hard on that. Yes, she did. Okay. So, 
Esquivel, another fighter out of the Houston area. Fortunately, her house was not damaged by Hurricane Harvey. Their gym actually used their monster truck that's out there to promote the gym to actually help people get out of some difficult situations. Yeah, they just loaned it out. How about that? Well, yeah, just take it. Go, go rescue people. Pretty cool. Very cool. It's Paradigm MMA. Under two to go in round number two. Esquivel. The on belly there. Crazy. Taking the arm. She tried to spin and take the arm. Pretty high level move for a blue belt. And now Reigns down a few hammer fists and elbows. Oh, she's, she's got good ground and pound. Wow. Esquivel able to hold on. She's got the arm trapped also with the other oh, knee. Oh, another nasty boy. elbows. Yeah. Raining down shots. Esquivel in some trouble. Yeah. Referee J.J. Ferraro taking a close look, and that's going to do it. Itzel is angry with him. Nicole Kelly. Welcome to the LFA. Itzel's father is furious. He is furious with the referee for stopping it. Yes. I mean, she, I, she's fine. Yeah, it seems Ferraro moved him pretty quick, but after uh, what we saw in the undercard happen. Yep, um, I understand. You know, I'm sure people are a little, a little nervous. Yep. Cagliari, though, will celebrate her first win in the LFA and in the United States. Her dad, uh, Itzel Esquivel, asked to leave the cage. And Daniel Esquivel is not happy with the early stoppage, no. but let's well, take a look. Here's Cagliari mounted. You know, she's... Obviously, Itzel's not able to, to respond with anything. And referee Ferraro decides he's seen enough. Didn't want to see any more damage done. Great performance, though, by Cagliari and Itzel Iscabel, a very tough lady also. <laughs> Excuse me, very talented fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, three minutes, 56 seconds, and round number two, your winner by TKO. Victorious in her LFA debut, improves her record to four and one. Happy birthday, Nicole Cagliari.